Maria! I'm not done yet! Hey everybody, my sixteen should welcome to another Splatfest, and today it's gonna be uh I guess like a Twilight kind of Splatfest. It's vampires versus werewolves. Team Edward versus Team <laughs> Team Um Edward versus uh Jacob. There we go, Team Jacob. So uh, if it was a Twilight saga, honestly, I would be saying Team Jacob. But because of the whole idea of vampires and werewolves. I think I'm just gonna go with the vampires. I mean, I don't know. It just sounds a little bit more cooler to me than werewolves. But now to think of it, I don't know. Maybe it's more of a werewolf. I don't really know. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah. So basically, this is a different way of starting off an episode of Splatfest on my channel. Because, well, I usually start from booting up the video game itself. But because I was actually waiting the same time it was actually supposed to be starting, uh, I started up the, the game early and played one match before I started uh, Splatfest itself. So... Uh, here we go. Um, you're probably all wondering which team I picked, maybe, who knows. I don't know if I put it in the title or not. But, um, or description. But, uh, yeah. So, I know for, like, a minute I'm gonna watch these girls, like, dance. I don't remember why I want to. So, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna cut or not, but... Yeah, I just basically my thing. So, anyways, um, this is not live, of course. I usually record some of these lives. Uh, but the time I was recording this, I could not actually record live because, well... I was talking to friends on Skype, and I'd rather have just talked to them. Uh, not saying I wouldn't, you know, want to record for you guys, but, you know, I would record the footage for this, so I could, you know, then talk to it about this later on. Which I feel like that's better, because I don't want to, you know, hey, I'll talk to you later, I want to go record instead, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> so, I was like, well, you know, it makes more sense to do it like that. So, I just wanted to talk to them. So, anyways, um, this is like... 25 minutes long of a video. I'm not even sure I'm gonna even leave it for 25 minutes. I'm gonna leave it for like a very shorter, like cut video. But uh, I'll figure something out now. In this Splatfest, I just want to say that I'm I went with Team Vampire, okay? Which if you don't already know, and when I picked Team Vampire, I was like, why? Not why, like, oh, you know, like, these, like that, that that genre sucks, nothing like that. No, it's just, like, I guess all the sucky players in the world picked vampires or something. And and, and and all the best players in the world picked werewolves. I'm like, what the fuck? Basically, because every match, and I mean every single match, I was getting owned about. Either I was getting owned, or I was close to winning. Or we were doing great at first, but then something at the end started fucking up. So, and I would say that it was my fault. I could say, like, maybe a good four matches was my fault. I really could say that. But when I looked at it, I'm like, it's really starting thinking. It's like, it's not even my fault, really. It's, I'm, I'm either the top person or the second top person in the team. And then the whole other people just suck in the game. I'm like, what the hell? And I can see, like, moments like, oh, my God, I'm the only purple over there. And then these are all the oranges. And they're, like, they're already taking over my base. And I'm like, I'm the one purple on their team. I'm trying to take them out, but I can't do it by myself. And it just sucks, basically. Basically, it all sucked. You know, I didn't fucking like it. It was fucking stupid. And just like, oh, God. So, I don't know. This this Blackfest, I, I did hit queen rank. I did hit queen. So, some I haven't done that before in the past. But then I've learned I should have... Queen every single Splatfest so I can get this, the bonuses, you know, the, the seashells and all that. So, I really wanted to get it. I really wanted to get it. So, it wasn't going to, like, back up. It wasn't going to back up whatsoever. So, now, like I said, I'm editing this around, but as I'm currently seeing, I'm taking a long time to actually start this. So, good thing I'm probably going to edit this out. So, not me recording, but actually the footage part, but still. Um, what can I say? It's the same thing as other Splatfests, <laughs> just different themed, that's really it. Um, it would be more sense if it was out during the actual same week of Halloween, but because it's like two weeks before, it doesn't make much sense, you know? 
Not much. But, because, well, you know, Halloween is close. I guess it kind of makes sense, but it still doesn't really matter. So, I, w I was assuming that Splatfest for Splatoon 2 be coming, like, every two weeks or three weeks like it used to be for the original Splatoon. But it took so long. <laughs> like, it's, this one felt like it's been a month since the last Splatfest. Uh, and I, I could say that, but, because I don't know how much longer they want Splatfest to keep going. Uh, or Splatfest, how long this game, Splatoon 2, wants to go until the sequel of Splatoon 3, or, uh, a new console. I don't really know how long they want to play Splatoon 4, but, you know what I mean. Like, I, I like, how long are they going to get this going? Because, you know, Splatoon 1 lasted two years and, like, a month or something like that, I don't know. I just still need to show three Splatfests for you guys. And the rest was like, well, I recorded and I showed and everything, and they're like, you know, some were, you know, sponsored Splatfest, some weren't. Uh, there hasn't been any sponsored Splatfest yet in this game uh, for you know, North America that I'm aware of. But it's just there's Transformers, SpongeBob, and Pokemon, which you know, it was Pokemon is basically its own Nintendo license thing. So, but you know what I mean. Uh, I know in Japan and everywhere else in the world, they did the Pokemon one. Of course, it was a worldwide thing. Is it was Pokemon Red versus Green, but still, I, I wasn't sure. You know, it was either like, like who else got sponsored Splatfest? I mean, Transformers from Hasbro, uh, SpongeBob from Nickelodeon, which was so crazy. I'm like, really, Nickelodeon? Like, like I get it, the whole splat thing. Like that's what Nickelodeon is kind of represented as a splat, you know? So I get that. I totally get that. Uh, with Sorry, with um, Transformers, not so much. I get it, why? But it was interesting that they did it anyways. I really gotta say that. It was very interesting. So, maybe it's the people that were around with Hasbro really like Splatoon. <laughs> I don't really know. But it was just really interesting. So, I know I should stop getting off topic about talking about other Splatfests and talk about the actual Splatfest that's happening now. I'm sorry about that. And my heater is on. I'm gonna turn it off. There you go. I think I did it. So... Um, as you can tell, you know, I actually was trying really hard in this Splatfest. Some I didn't feel like I really was, but maybe I was, like, sucking. But I was like, well, maybe I just get back to the hang of it. And which is going to be moments you're going to see me, like, falling off, maybe. I don't know. But I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. And I was like, points, like, I, I want to keep going. And for some reason, I'm just going to say this alone. My team just sucked, and I wanted to get the queen rank and finish playing. Not like I hated the game, it was just I wanted to have fun, but I wasn't having any fun because I wasn't saying I wasn't winning. Well, well, that's a big portion of it, but I just wasn't into it because it wasn't fun because I was like struggling trying to win here. It wasn't like, oh, it's an even match. It can go any way. It's, 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 it's all, you know, down to the line. Nothing like that. It was like, oh, orange team, werewolves, they're, they're, they're badly beating that team. They have no chance, like whatsoever, like at all. I'm like, fucking hey, no chance. So. Yeah, you can kind of feel my frustration there if you, if you really wanted to, but I had, like, no fucking chance. It fucking pissed me off, so. Um, but, hey, you know, it, it happens. It's okay. So, um, for, like, let's say it was a Twilight Saga kind of stuff, okay? We just say it was. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, if it was actually Edward versus Jacob, that would be pretty funny. Um, if it was that themed, like Twilight wise, I, I think I would have picked Jacob. Um, I'm just more like a, you know, a handsome motherfucker that's beefed up. Werewolf. That that sounds kind of cool, no lie. It sounds kind of handsome and sexy for like a girl, right? I get that. So, I think I would have picked a werewolf. And if it was like a vampire, oh, they glow and they're white and they are eating animals without anyone seeing you know like, like that in that perspective I'm like okay you know like uh sure <laughs> so I didn't really know or care if it was like yeah vampires I didn't watch the whole Twilight Saga but away um I, I could say that I mean at first I wasn't like it wasn't my biggest thing I didn't really care but then I'm like well it turned out to be kind of okay without the whole Oh my god, Jacob, I feel for you kind of thing. Or I feel for Edward, I can't make up my mind anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is wrong with Bella? So, you know, I watched it. It was it was a thing. It was bad. I mean, I've seen worse movies, but it was okay, I guess. Just, I'm not for the whole lovey-dovey kind of stuff, but still, it was okay. So, 
Anyways, um, what else can I talk about vampires and werewolves, really? I don't know. Uh, I, I can say I was, I was a vampire, I think, once a, a Halloween. I can say that. That or Batman. <laughs> I guess you consider him being a bat as a vampire, I guess you can say, huh? I guess I can say that's a vampire, yeah. It's just cause this is Batman's a vampire, yeah. Yeah, Batman's a vampire. Which could actually probably... What could actually have possibly have happened in a comic book for once. I think it was actually a thing. I, I think! I'm not sure exactly, but still. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else. I can't really remember what else. Yeah, I can't remember what else. So... Hmm. Um... This playthrough right here looks like I'm almost a fiend. What was a fiend? Um, I know you're gonna not gonna see at the end of this video, even if I recorded the whole entire thing, would be like two hours or three. Who knows? Uh, I like I said, I do hit uh, a queen rank, which is king rank. You know, if you're a boy or girl. So, you know, that's about it, really. You know. So, anyways, um, I hate to say it, but that's gonna be seriously it for today, most likely. I don't really know. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I could talk about. Other, you know, we guys have seen this, of course. It's like Monday. I'm back at work. Uh, actually, I think I'm barely waking up when the, this video is going live, but still. Um, I just want to say, you know, thank you for watching, of course. Uh, hopefully, you're going to have a very good Halloween. Uh, I'm spending my Halloween at work. It, it's, it sucks. I really, I, I know, I know, I know. Spending my Halloween at work. Jeez. How lame. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting no candy whatsoever, I, I believe, at work, so that's that's another downer. But still, um, I think that's about it. I think that's seriously about it. So once again, everybody, um, oh, sorry, really quick, uh, the 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 first map you saw was uh, it's like a space station thing. It only shows up during Splatfest, I'm aware of. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it's just a special Splatfest, uh stage level map you can play on which makes you feel more special which I like that but you know for what it is it's, it's pretty good it's pretty good you know I call I don't know what to call it really I always call it I always call it space station Silicon Valley <laughs> yes why do I call it space station Silicon oh my god so why do I call it space station Silicon Valley well because it just reminds me of the name for the Nintendo for game called space station Silicon Valley Yes, I don't really know why, but it just does. So now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all for the next one, all right? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below, okay? Bye-bye. Chaos Control!